Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. This is Chem Cowboy here with another video. Tonight, we're doing Iron Throne Beginner's Guide. Um, and this is part 11, and we're going to be talking about heroes. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and give a basic introduction to heroes, how heroes are ranked, and all of that good jazz. So, let's start off, and we're going to talk from our way from the top to the bottom. Now, there are two heroes that are absolutely premium, and I have not yet obtained either one of them because I'm not yet king, and I have not done glo uh, global domination. Or, is, yeah, global domination. So, what this all means. So, heroes have different CP levels when they have no gear on them, and they are at the same level. So, if I were to go ahead and remove all this gear from Emilio, And I were to go next door to Zeoyun and I remove all of Zeoyun's gear. If we look at their CP, they should have the exact same combat power as each other because they are both premium heroes and all the premium heroes have the same CP, which is combat power, when at the same level. So 3038 and 3038, so it works like a charm. Now, where this is going to differ is when we get into our free to play heroes. So our free-to-play heroes have different ranks, and they have different abilities. I'll go ahead and worry about this later, um, about putting their gear back onto them. So, when we look at what is going to be our next best set of heroes, well, let's go ahead and find Achilles. So Achilles, you can only obtain, he's an infantry hero, you can only obtain him from winning Battle Royale. I just won my battle, first Battle Royale. I'm ecstatic. So, he has the next highest CP just below the premium heroes that you have to pay $20 each for. And he can be obtained from the Battle Royale winning it. Then, we will also have Lorne. Lorne is also another infantry hero. She has the same combat power as Achilles, so I mean, it's your choice. They do have different runes. However, I've changed the rune on Lorne since I've obtained her. So, please don't think about that too much. Um, But... You get her from Town Mode Season 2, so as we talked about doing those epic quests for Town Mode, make sure you do them, because you get Lauren, and she is the best free-to-play hero that you can obtain outside of winning uh, the Throne Battle or winning the Conquer the Capital. Um, or Global Domination, my, my apologies. Then, below them, we will have Rand. So Rand is going to be our Archer hero, and he's going to be the best Archer hero that we can obtain free to play. Then we can also obtain Valentia. Valentia is an uh, Valentia is a hero that I have, but I don't know what she looks like. There we go. Valentia is going to be the best cavalry hero that we can obtain. So, for free to play. You obtain her by finishing chapter 7 in the story mode. Um so here is what we're get taking away from this. If you are free to play, you can easily obtain two infantry heroes, an archer hero, and a cavalry hero for free. For free. Just by doing different events. Um then below them there's gonna be different ranks. So we're gonna have Zenovia, we're gonna have which is Archer, we're gonna have Eldred, which is infantry, we're gonna have Solace, which um is gonna be our research hero. Then we're gonna have Tertio um, Tertio, Tertio, don't know who he is. I believe it's this guy. Nope, nope. I have no idea what Tertio looks okay. like. Okay, let's check him from the end. Nope, that's Taurus. Tertio is going to be, uh, he's my troop training hero. Um, so he's going to be in that oh, second Oh, with the bucket tier. helmet. Yeah. So... You can win, uh, get these by like logging in, getting academy level 20, uh, getting five chaotic stronghold kills, winning team deathmatch five times. So it's really easy to obtain heroes. Doing but, the epic, uh, epic town mode quest chain is going to give you a bunch of heroes. Yes. Very highly advised. So I see a lot of people utilizing Carl. I see a lot of people, you know, doing that. But Carl's a much weaker hero right off the bat if you're considering them without any equipment set at the same power at the same level. Um, so what I highly recommend that everyone does is once you obtain uh, Eldred, start utilizing Eldred for infantry. 
Then, once you obtain Lauren or Achilles, switch Eldred over to them, your best hero, because they are stronger than Eldred. Now, as far as runes, there are different heroes that have better runes right off the bat. So, if we're looking at like the premium heroes, as I can talk more on this, it's easier to discuss. Emilio has the best um, rune off the bat for infantry. Keep in mind, I've changed my rune, so please don't look at this. So if you want the best infantry hero, Emilio, right off the bat, is the best hero. I have him as my guard captain. Zeo Yoon is going to be the second best infantry hero, as he comes with a leveraged infantry damage increase of 10% rune. Now, we'll get more into runes again later, but this is going to be the second best premium hero for infantry. Makoto honestly sucks as an infantry hero, as a premium infantry hero. I probably don't really recommend her unless you need her. I have all of the infantry heroes, so I just have Makoto. As far as archers go, Kenzaburo has the best archer rune. Out of the bat, right off the gate for $20. Rashi uh, Shaheen Al Rashad has the second best. He has a, an additional damage in raid rune. So he's more of a support archer uh, hero. Kenzaburo is more of that all-around attacking hero. Now when we, when we get into cavalry, we're going to have a better um, rune right off the bat with Gloria. Then uh, John really isn't a combat-based uh, rune, but it's not that bad because he still has a higher CP level and he can always change runes. As you can tell, I've not changed his runes or Gloria's runes, and I have a lot of catching up I need to do on my own in regards to my equipment. But this is a nice little quick guide on different heroes that we can obtain, who's better than who, what should we be doing, and next we will be talking about runes. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Iron Throne Beginner's Guide um, mini-series, and this is your boy Captain Cowboy and Swag, and if you want to get into the playtest for first-time downloads, go ahead and shoot me a DM, any of the ways mentioned in the description of this video, and I can set you up into the playtest. Um, additionally speaking, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. This is Captain Cowboy and your boy Swag.